Hi, this is Tony Hines from Gamerscore Blog. And this is Chris Paladino from the Gamerscore Blog. And we're here to show you the new fall dashboard update on Xbox Live. Yes, that's coming out on December 4th. And uh, fall actually lasts up until December 21st. So it, we're it in time. Fall, it's the fall update. We are in time. Now, this is a free update to both silver and gold members. So everybody should get this update on December 4th. Yeah. So I think we're going to just run through some of the features here now. One of the first things you're going to notice is that there is an inside the Xbox button. And what the inside the Xbox section is, is it's announcements, it's news, and it's things like uh, spotlight articles, even trailers. So here we're going into the Assassin's Creed trailer, where that trailer lives on Marketplace. You can watch it right there. It's, it may also have video. So this is an example of the video. You'll notice that it's buffering. One of the things that we have the ability to do now is that we can hey, preview uh, quickly and buffer down video ready. full screen. So it used to be, remember, on the right side, a little tiny preview. Well, now it's much, much larger, and you can jump in and see immediately what you're trying to purchase or view. Let's jump over to the video store. So where movies and TV shows used to live in Marketplace is now entitled the video store. And in the store, you can, so we're going to jump into movies here. We'll go to new arrivals. And uh, the new arrivals section is, as you can imagine, filled with new arrivals. You can also do things like sort now by the date downloaded, the release date here, download rank, title. The other thing that I like is that you'll notice that we have box art for all of these movies. Uh, sort of a cool tangent to that is that if you have a file on a portable flash player or a portable me media device, you can create a JPEG with the same name as that video file, and it will use the box art just like you have here in the video store. And these, this, because this is a beta, these aren't necessarily all of the correctly ranked downloads. So if you're making a hussy that your 1964 movie is the number one downloaded movie, this is, uh, this is not real data. So you can tell the quality isn't quite HD, but because it was, look, it was, we're already there, it was pretty quick, it'll give you an idea of what the movie's about. Yeah, so that's very nice to be able to jump very quickly into preview movie, uh, see whether, you know, it's something that you want to, uh, to download and, and uh, get a good idea of what, what it is that you're going to purchase. All right, what about games? Let's go into the game store. So the game store is going to have, hey, games. And you'll notice in here that we have arcade titles, and we also have a section inside the arcade for arcade hits. So these are some lower-priced arcade games that are available on Xbox Live Marketplace. We also have Xbox Originals. you notice the little button looks like an Xbox One. You'll also notice that the skin here in the background of this is very, very reminiscent of the Xbox One dashboard experience. Yes, they, I, I, the, the devs in the, in the team that have been working on it, they said they wanted to give a feel of kind of going back um, to what it felt like to be back in the Xbox, uh, original Xbox days. You notice there was no games in there. Um, those will be populated uh, once uh, we've launched this service on December 4th. And if we're going back to the original days, those were the days before achievements, eh? Yes, so unfortunately the originals will not have achievements. Uh, they are direct ports of the original games. Um, but they will play on your Xbox 360, and uh, all the original functionality will be there. So if it did have Xbox Live, Crimson Skies, for example, you'll be able to play on Xbox Live. Absolutely. Let's jump into the uh, games library here. You can notice that the games blade is organized a little bit differently. The games library is going to be where games go after you have downloaded them. So including Live Arcade, but also the Xbox Originals, any demos that you've downloaded, and... XNA Creators Club games. They're all available in this one location. We have a, I believe it's called the Twist Bar there at the top. And uh, if you like to use a database to manage your gaming and you love lists, uh, the Live Arcade Trial games will no longer be on your profile. It's something everybody's been screaming about. Their profile was littered with demos and, and trial versions. Great. So is that going to lower my... Uh, gamer score? It will increase your percentage of completed games because oh. instead of having 200 games on there, you'll only actually have 100. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, with the dashboard update, you can now show your real name and location if you choose to. Uh, name and location will be pre-populated based on the billing information that you have entered. So I haven't put a name, a location, or a bio yet. Uh, you can make a bio up. It's 500 characters. USB keyboard is nice. Chat pad is also nice. Well, here's the bio. We're going to throw in something. Tony's going to be polite here and, and give me a nice bio. And the fact that it's not working uh, shouldn't dissuade you because we don't have a keyboard plugged in. Let's jump over and take a look at Friends of Friends. And let's explain that because it's sort of a weird concept to get. And you'll notice here I'm pausing on the button for Friends and Messages. We've combined those two separate messages buttons into one button so that it saves some space on the UI. Jumping into here, you'll see your friends list. Nothing really new there except for they now have their gamer mottos that each person has put in underneath the gamer tag. So let's scroll down to, uh, let's jump into Ace Attorney here. He's an MVP for the Xbox. 
and we're going to look at his friends of friends. So under personal profile, we've selected view friends, and these are all of Ace Attorney's friends. So this will allow you, if you don't have a lot of friends on Xbox and you want to get friends and you know that somebody's cool and you like hanging out with them and playing in the sort of games that they enjoy, you could jump into their list and see their friends. Now, can I go down one more deeper and check out somebody's friends of friends of friends? No, unfortunately, you can only go one level. And uh, so if you want to see those people, maybe if you add them to your friends list, then you can see their friends. So you can sort of continue it, but it's not all easily available through one quick click. As we mentioned, the friend of friends feature, if there's something that you want to turn off, friends of friends have, I believe, three options. Is that right, Tony? Yes, that would be everyone, friends, and no one. So you can block friends of friends. So if you don't want people to see, if I don't want people to see my friends, I could turn that feature off. If I have uh, younger people on the list, they will also be blocked by the age blocking, uh, automatically blocked for anybody under the age of 13. So here, right here, you can do it on the dashboard. Previously, we asked people to go into xbox.com WAC FOF if you're in the United States, and you can set your setting there right on the website before this feature even goes live. So when you're seeing this now, keep that in mind. You can jump on the website, or when the dashboard comes out, you can see we're able to access those same uh, profiles. Also in this uh, update is messenger functionality. So while we're talking a little bit about age restrictions and privacy, the messenger feature will be expanded to include users under 18. So there's going to still have parental controls to limit the personal information that minors can get. And uh, the, li the live account of a minor is set to friends only by default, so you can communicate with friends that the parents have approved. And if you're under 13 years old, your default setting is to be blocked. So speaking of folks of different age brackets, one of the things that we got a lot of feedback from the forums and the community sites is that age promotion or age graduation. <clears throat> so basically what that meant was if you created your account before you had turned 18 years old, when you created your gamer tag and your Xbox Live account, uh, now that you've become 18, it didn't accurately reflect that. So what we're actually doing is that works now. You can be over 18 if you really are over 18, although there's something that you do have to do. Parents have to promote the children's account if it's a child account by going into account management. And account management is where you can do things like set up your Xbox Live password, check out all the things that you've previously downloaded, etc. If you were available or eligible to have your account promoted to the next age bracket, you would be able to do so from the screen. Because I am already over the age of 18, I don't qualify for that, so it is unavailable to me. So the last thing we're going to look at here is we're going to look at the family settings. So if you go again in the far right system blade, we can look at the family settings. So family settings has a new feature with the family timer. So let's jump into that guy. Now we can turn these things on in a couple different ways. We can set the amount of time you can play daily. And you can see here we have 15 minute increments of how long you want your children to be playing on your Xbox. We can also set that guy to be weekly so that you can set X number of hours per week to allow them to play on their Xbox 360 console. Now is that for the whole Xbox or is that assigned by uh, Gamertag? At this time it is assigned for the entire Xbox. Um, you can go in as a parent and you can add time to that. So if you're playing and it's the last couple minutes of the timer and you're playing Mass Effect and you're not quite at a save point yet, you can go in using your passcode, which the parents would set up, and you can add on more time so that it won't expire before your save point. You can see two of the options that are grayed out. Should we turn on the family timer, you're able to set the passcode, and you can actually turn off family settings once they are enabled. We'll just throw that on there so you can see what it's like. It is important to set your clock. If you don't use the Xbox Live auto set of your clock, you have some questions here you can set in, typical password stuff. And that will allow little Timmy not to get into the password and add his own time so when he's been grounded and is only allowed to play two hours a week, he can't go in there and overrule that. So parents, get to it first. And uh, I think that's all of the features here in the Xbox Fall Dashboard update. And we're very happy to have given you a sneak peek. All right, this is Chris Paladino from the Gamerscore blog. And this is Tony Hines from Gamerscore blog. And we'll talk to you guys next time.